All right. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Uh, so, um, you know how much I love music, do you? And uh, today, while driving my car, I heard a song. Uh, I love that song a lot, but uh, I can't remember the name of the singer uh, or maybe singers. I'm not sure. So, you're going to help me with this. Uh, I will uh, uh, let you listen to a song and you will uh, tell me who the singer is or the singers are. Okay? All right, good. You're ready to listen? Aha. I see some faces smiling. Yeah. BTS, you said. Uh huh. So is it is it is it one person named BTS? It's a music band. So I see that some of you uh, know this music band. Some others do not. Good. And is is there anything special about it? All right, so it's famous. Yes. All right, good, good, good. So, um, well, to know more about this band, uh, we are going to uh, read a text uh, for that. And, uh, and then by the end of the session, uh, you will be able to write um, a summary, if you'd like, of their uh, career, the most important milestone in their career. It's something like, uh, I don't know if you have an idea about some books, uh, like this one, for example, uh, which is about our former president, uh, Habib Bourguiba. Uh, so can you guess what this book is about? Uh-huh. It tells his life, of course. So we're going to do the same uh, thing, but uh, in, in an article, not a, love, a, a novel, uh, a biography, if you want. And in this article, we will uh, summarize the story of this um, uh, music band and share it with people who do not know, like me, for example. I, I, I don't know this, uh, uh, this music band. And as they are very special, as you said, uh, I need to know uh, about them. All right. Now, because we are going to tell the story, you know that in all the stories, there is beginning, uh, middle, and end. And there are sequence words that are used for that. So here I, I have a list of sequence words and your mission is to classify them into words that come in the beginning, others that come in the middle, and finally words that uh, come by the end of the story. Let's do the first one together. So the first one is meanwhile. Do you know uh, whether uh, this word comes in the beginning? in the middle or by the end of the story? Yes, very good. It comes uh, in the middle of the story. So that's why I'm going to write the number of the word here. So take a few minutes to uh, complete, uh, uh, classify the rest of the list and then we'll correct it together. All right, excellent. So. Here are the words classified. Now, let me tell you something that happened to me one day. I was walking in the wood and I heard a strange voice. After that, I heard someone walking behind me. Then I started running. I ran and ran and ran until I reached my house. By the end, I turned around and it was a small, tiny, cute cat. All right, so here, notice that I said I started, I walked. So, which tense I actually used in my story to tell you my story? So, walked turned, found, 
So this is, of course, the simple past. Now, notice the difference between these two groups of verbs. Yeah, so here, what is the rule I used for the simple past? Yeah, so I took the verb and I added ed plus ed. So this is, of course, the rule for regular verbs. Now here there is no ed because simply it's an irregular verbs. Now I'm going to give you of course a list of uh, irregular verbs and you will try to uh, memorize one time after the other as much verbs as you can so that you know how to put them in the simple past. So, bearing in mind that always when we tell a story, uh, we use the simple past, you are going to um, uh, read uh, the, the text about the BDS, and then we will try to write uh, a summary of uh, their story.